welcome back everyone, GT here, coming back with another Clash Royale episode. So yesterday, I made a video about this battle deck that you can see on screen right now. This is without a doubt the best battle deck that I've seen, that I've used for Arena 4, for Arena 5, and even able to get you way up into Arena 6. So check this out guys, we haven't lost a single battle in such a long time. We've won about 10 victories in a row using this one same battle deck. I think we drew one in the last 11 or 12 attacks guys. So the last 12 battles, there is the only draw that we had. The rest of them are just victory after victory after victory. And what we're going to do in this episode right now, we are going to continue our push. We are going to be able to reach 2000 trophies using this awesome battle deck and we are only level 6. So we're going to get ourselves into a live attack now using the exact same battle deck. And if you haven't checked out yesterday's episode, please feel free to go and check it out. It literally explains why this deck works so damn well inside of Arena 4, Arena 5, even Arena 6. In fact, I have had so many comments. Go and check that video. There are so many comments saying, Tony, we've won 5, 6, 7, even 8 and 9 victories in a row using this battle deck. So check this out for the first time ever, we are going up against the Golem. This is the first Golem I have ever seen in my Clash Royale career. Don't forget, I'm only level 6 guys, and this is live. We are going up against this Golem live. I don't know how to deal with it, but don't worry, I'm still feeling really positive. And by the end of this episode, hopefully, we are 14 or 15 games in a row undefeated using this battle deck. So let's see if we're going to be able to defeat it. The Golem is going down. Now there's one Golemite left on the map. Before I forget, don't forget to enter the giveaway, guys. All you need to do to enter the $100 giveaway, the 14,000 gem giveaway, is simply subscribe to this channel for a chance to win 14,000 gems. Simply hit that subscribe button, guys, and then you can enter into the link. So what we're going to do now, we're going to see if we can actually start a counter-attack. So after we've completed this live attack, and hopefully if we win, we are going to go in for a few more. We want to see how many games can this battle deck go before it gets defeated. It is currently 12 or 11 games undefeated. Can we reach 15 inside of this episode? So we're just defending against the Barbarians, and then hopefully we can start our counter attack. So here we go, Hog Rider is about to go in. There's a couple of Barbarians down there, and now we are about to do some damage to their right sour. Looking pretty damn awesome right about now. And there we go, the first crown is down. Now all I need to do is worry about them sending in a second golem. So we're going to start to build a little bit of elixir now and hope we can do a counter attack. Oh, maybe not. Here comes a golem. So we're going to have to defend against this golem. We're going to use a skeleton army to see if we can take it out. So this is what I was thinking. I'm currently level 6, very close to level 7, and I'm thinking about doing a very, very hard trophy push. Now, I don't know what the current level 6 trophy record is, but I reckon I could actually get close to it because I'm not going to lie, this battle deck is working so damn well for me. So this is what I want all of you guys to do. If you want to see me try to beat the level 6 trophy record right now, then smash a like down below. That's if you want to see me do it. If you don't want to see me do it, or even if you do want to see me do it, but don't think that I can do it, comment down below, hashtag Tony, shut up. But if you don't think that I can do it, don't be mean. Don't put it in caps locks because that's just shouting at me and that will really hurt my feelings, guys. So don't be mean about it. Just, just put hashtag Tony please be quiet because it sounds a lot nicer. So let's see, he's dropped a poison spell. We're going in with a bomb tower and it looks like we are going to get the victory against these golems. So this battle deck can even beat and just destroy Tito, all those golems. And it looks like we are getting, I think this is the 12th undefeated match in a row. So we are currently standing 12 games in a row undefeated. And we are going to continue this right now in this episode, guys. So stay tuned. We are about to get ourselves into another live attack. We have victory! We just beat, what's his name? Bertulka. Shout out to you, my friend. We just got the one crown victory. So here we go, guys. Now we are getting ourselves into a live battle. So here comes the live battles now. That was uh, that was one of the recorded matches. But it's time to get our little bubble butts into a live battle. So let's see, what is our current trophy record? Oh, it's currently 17, what is that? 1775. So we want to see if we can get to 2,000 trophies, as I said. So it's time to go in for a life battle. We are using the same battle deck. We aren't changing anything up. Here goes, guys. Wish me luck. I'm literally, I'm nervous. My hands are shaking. My hands are sweating. We're inside of the Builder's Workshop, and we're about to fight. So let's see what this guy has to offer. We're going to start off with the Hog Rider and the Spear Goblins duo to see if we can do any little, like, initial damage to the tower. Oh! Oh, he's being cheeky. He's using a bomb tower, just like me. He may have a very similar deck to me. Now, I'm not lying, guys. Since I've done that episode yesterday, I swear I'm not even lying. I've seen at least 
at least two or three people use the same deck as me. If not the same, then they maybe have one, maybe two cards different. But I swear, I've seen so many people using the same deck as me. And I'm sure that, like, loads of people may have seen that video and have realized that this deck really does work so damn well. So I'm, I'm not really feeling this raid because he is got an Inferno Tower and he's got that Bomb Tower and they are going to cause two very big problems for me. The one weakness of this deck, it's not really a weakness, it's just like a stalemate, meaning that it's going to most likely be a draw, is the fact that if they have loads of defense cards, then it's very hard to get your troops onto their towers because you don't have that many attacking troops. The only real attacking troops you've got is the Hog Rider and then you've got a few units to back it up like the Spear Goblins, the Barbarians to protect it and then maybe the minions and the dragons to do a little bit of damage. But apart from the Hog Rider, you don't really have any more attack troops. So when an enemy uses loads of defense cards, it's not, it's not like you're going to lose. It's just extremely hard. You have to have a little bit of luck on your side to get down one of their towers. But I mean, at the end of the day, drawing really isn't too bad. I know it's a waste of time, but it does gain you experience. And obviously, you're not really losing trophies and you're having fun playing the game. So at the end of the day, really, drawing isn't too bad. So right now we're kind of looking at a stalemate. He also has a goblin heart. Can be very, very annoying. Gonna have to take out his goblin barrel there. Use some arrows on that. Yeah, the goblin, the goblin huts and those barbarian huts can seriously, seriously be annoying. So we actually got our dragon and a couple of minions onto his right tower there. Done a little bit of damage, but not really anything significant. And we're going into the double elixir time already. So it looks like we're going to try and do a little bit of a push here. Use some barbarians. And he's gone down with the bloody bomb tower once again. So it is going to distract all of those troops. And of course, we don't have a balloon. So the balloon and a free spell would be a great duo. Two great cards to use in a scenario like this. When someone uses loads of defenses, using a balloon is always a great option to do. And maybe use it with a rage spell or even a free spell. It always works pretty damn well. But because we don't have the balloon, we are going to have to be a little bit more patient. Oh, sorry about that. Be a little bit more patient and hope that we can actually counterattack him in a really good way. So the Inferno Tower not really doing anything too much for him, but once again, we've wasted quite a lot of elixir. Going to build another bomb tower there just to make sure that we don't end up losing this. Now, if we do draw, I do apologize, but if we do draw, then we will be going in for another live attack and we will get a victory. We are not leaving until we get another victory and we are not losing. So it's either going to be a draw or it's going to be a victory. There is no loss happening here. So we've gone into extra time. He keeps chucking those goblin barrels, but they aren't really doing too much for him. Now we're going to try... He's just built two bomb towers as well. I was going to say, we're going to try and push onto that left tower this time. But these bomb towers, just way, way too much for my troop cards, to my uh, for my battle cards to handle. And he's gone in with the Inferno Tower as well. I mean, it's literally, this is just a stalemate. No one is going to win this. I can already see it. it's going to be a complete draw. In fact, I saw it was going to be a draw from the very start. Because him using those defense cards, me using my defense cards, none of us really having any great attacking cards means that it's going to be a stalemate. But as I said, do not fear, we are going to go in for another live attack, guys. And we are going to try and push for 14 games undefeated. So hopefully this battle deck continues to work out very well. Now, I know we've drawn, but out of the 14 games, if we do go in for another live one and we win it, that means we have won 12 out of 14. We've drawn two and we've lost zero. Now, by my, by my like, standards, I would say that is a very good battle deck. And don't forget, we are only level six and I'm always facing level sevens, level eights. Sometimes we get the occasional level six, but it is very rare up here now. I'm not even that high in trophies. I mean, I'm only at about, what, 1,700, 1,800 trophies. But you really, like, literally, you never see any level six plays. It's really damn rare. So here we go, going into the uh, a little live attack now, guys. And we are going to start off with a push. Hopefully this time, this guy doesn't have too many defensive cards. So the Hog Rider, the, the, uh, the Spears, going in right behind. Are we going to get an attack off? Yes, we are. We are doing several amounts of damage. Hit points taken off that right tower. And it looks like it was an actual great start. So we're going to try and defend off this, uh, this Hog Rider. Kill the Valkyries while a couple of Goblins and Archers coming in. But hopefully the Bomb Tower is going to be able to hold them off. Yes, it is. And it looks like it was a fantastic start to the battle. So definitely looking like we can clutch the 12th victory in a row. And of course, the 14th game in a row, we are going to stay undefeated. Now, if you're wondering, Tony, you're, uh, I'm currently at about, what, 1,800 trophies, guys. And I have seen nearly every single card. I think the only cards I haven't seen is the Royal Giant, the Dark Knight, and the Princess. 
I think. And the Three Musketeers. I haven't seen the Three Musketeers either. Apart from those four cards, I believe I've seen all the other 44. So there's 48 cards inside of this game. And I think, I th I think I've seen 44 of them. I definitely want to go up against the Royal Giant. I want to see what kind of damage he can do because he was buffed in the previous update. He was giving a 20% increase in damage. I also want to see what that Princess can do. Moreover, though, I want the Princess because she looks absolutely amazing. The Ice Wage, I have gone up against him. He doesn't really look all that, to be honest. But when, when people use him against me, they use like three or four of him at the same time. And I'm just like completely overrun. And it is quite hard to defend against them. So looking like the right tower is about to fall now from the dragon and the minion duo. And we are sending in the hog rider just for backup. But it doesn't matter. We got the one crown there, guys. And it looks like we are about to get ourselves the 12th victory. The 14th game in a row. We are currently standing undefeated. And there is only... It's about to go into double elixir time very shortly. So let's see if we can clutch this, guys. Only 60 seconds left. Now, at this point in the raid, you at this point in the battle, you have a decision to make. And the decision is, do you want to continue and push to that second tower or maybe even the main tower? Or do you just want to hold back and defend? Typically, I, I'm quite greedy. I try and grab as many towers as I can. But sometimes when I do that, it really, really does make me pay the consequences because I'll end up losing the battle. Somehow, they manage to get their troops through to, like, maybe my main tower and I end up losing the battle. But it is very rare. But, yeah, inside of this one, we are going to try just to see if we can push. But we're also going to defend just to ensure that we get the victory. So coming near the end of the battle now, don't forget guys, if you would love to see me push to 2,000 trophies and above as a level 6 player inside a Clash Royale, then please leave a like down below. And if you want to see me push but don't think I can do it, then comment down below, hashtag Tony, shut up. Or be quiet, whichever one you decide guys. I would go for the be quiet route because it is nicer. So it looks like we have got the 12th victory in a row. There we go, great game. That is 12 victories in a row and the 14th game that we are currently standing undefeated. So please also don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now for COC and Clash Royale videos every single day. We are doing the giveaway guys, the $100 14,000 gem giveaway and you do need to sub to the channel in order to enter it. So I will see you very, very shortly for another one. If you have enjoyed the video, then please slap a like down below. I will see you shortly guys. Love you all. Peace out.